All right, guys, I'm back here at the hoop coop today. And uh, need the nest boxes put in. So I had these built. Now, I didn't have any of this on it. All that plywood up there, I just got through putting that on there. It was just, <clears throat> well, you can't really tell it now, but. It was just the nest boxes and to keep them from roosting or setting up on the side of it, which I always had trouble with down at the old house. Uh, I put this plywood on here where it butts up against here and I might have to, they might, I doubt, I, think, I don't think they're gonna get up there and roost in, like on here, I don't. I doubt it. When they have that right there, but you know, chickens, they do some, pretty ridiculous things but I put this on here and then I took me a uh, well it was a uh, windshield washer fluid windshield wiper fluid bottle and traced around it and then cut that out with a jigsaw and then nailed all these down and then for the back here to hang it off the cattle panel let's see I took and nailed me a decent sized steeple in there and then hooked these carbiners into it and just hung them and snapped them onto the cattle panel. So this one on the end is a little bit smaller and the rest of them are the same size. But that ought to do it. Now if they flip that back over. If they decide to start roosting on this, which they may, I'll get something and bring it all the way down and then just cut this opening out all around to where it's just one flat with a hole. So we'll see. It's probably about mm, a little less than knee high off the ground. I've got to put shavings in it for them. And there's two hens in here. There's one, two, three, four, and then a small one on this end. Now, they'll probably only use one of these. But at some point, I mean, even if there was a half a dozen chickens or more in here, they'd probably end up using like one of these. A little overkill, but I had it. I tweaked it a little bit and I'm gonna let them use it. Not the prettiest, but I believe I believe it's functional. I threw some tomatoes in here yesterday. They're still picking around at it. Everything's doing pretty good in here. It rained pretty much all day yesterday. And really the only places it come in, I've seen a couple spots. See like right there? That's where that tarp's rolled up on the outside. It's coming down and catching and pulling and coming underneath the edge just a little bit and, and like two, like that spot there and right around here. But other than that, it, I mean, it stayed pretty dry in here other than the ground just being wet. I mean, we're right next to a hillside, so it's gonna, it's gonna kind of run this way a little bit anyway. I'm gonna check them nest boxes out. I know you're, there you go. Oh yeah, seal of approval. Go on in there and lay your egg, girl. Oh, look at her. Oh yeah, she tried it. <laughs> you 
You only need a little yag. I'll put you some shavings in there. You know what's funny is most of the time the chickens down there at the old house when they laid in this, that box she's at right now, that's the one they always laid in. I don't know what it is that draws them to it. Even that girl, that girl has laid in that box before. And that was the first one she went to was that, that one she always laid in. I don't think they'll be able to, well, yeah, if they get right perfectly in that hole, they'd be able to roost on it. As you can see, they're already trying to climb it. Yeah, fill their, fill their food up a little bit. I've got plenty of water. What do you think, girls? Think that'll do? I think it'll do. Just got through ordering uh, six day old pullets, chicks, uh, golden wine dots or gold lace wine dots. I ordered uh, two rooster, gold lace wine dot roosters. They should be coming in, not this week, but next. I think their hatch date was the 13th. They're supposed to be the 13th, so I get them a day, a day after that, hopefully. <clears throat> but it'll be a while before they come into here, and I plan on this ain't gonna stay here. I'm gonna move this over a little bit, so. Keep them on clean ground for the most part. And relatively dry. But this thing took me, it didn't take me very long to slap those. I just used spare wood I had laying around. This should work. I'll go get some chips put in there. And hopefully these girls will get to lay in. I I've only had the red piles for a few weeks. They've laid a couple eggs, but they're really not laying much right now. And me switching them around from where they were to where they are to now they're new over here. Kind of threw them off. There you have it. Nest box in the hoop coop. Lighter, guys. <laughs>